In this video, I want to share with you the design and the layout that I use for my Bio 101 online class. I am using the student view so I can show you how students are able to see my site. So my main objective on designing this Laulima site was to make it more easy to navigate, more intuitive to students and to reduce as much as I could the clutter in the site. And I try to be very consistent and I try to provide the students with a well-paced access to the class content. In order to achieve this objective, I have taken several steps. First, I have divided the class content into weekly lessons. So I used to have all of those lessons here on the left menu of Laulima, but these made the site look very cluttered and busy. So I decided instead to group all the lessons into a single page, which I call weekly lessons. And here I use an expandable accordion style. When students click on it, it expands and then they can select the corresponding lesson. I label each lesson with the corresponding week and the topic to make it easier for students to find the lesson. To provide the students with a more paced experience, each lesson only opens in the corresponding week. So for example, Week two will only be available on week two. Uh, week three will only be available on week three and so on. Each lesson has a consistent and sequential layout. After trying different templates, I decided to use white background with black font for all my lessons. To provide more accessibility and increased readability, I only use font that is larger than 14 points. And then I have used the different text formats like headlines and normal text. This facilitates the reading with like screen readers. For the organization of the lesson content, I really strive for consistency. So all my lessons have the same components. They all have a title that has the corresponding week and the topic a specific list of the learning outcomes, which are linked with the class learning outcomes. This is followed by an interactive checklist, which allows a student to see all the activities that they need to complete each week, and they can keep track of, of their progress. This allows them to manage better their time. After this, I have the learning materials. Before, I used to have all the learning materials here on this page, and this made the La Lima site looked super busy and it was like harder to navigate because it was like too long. So I decided to have all my learning materials on a Google site. And this Google site is accessible through a descriptive hyperlink. The learning materials I offer are of different natures. So usually there is a link for the different readings that they need to complete. In this case, this is for the open access textbook that we are using in the class. I also offered them other types of simulations and other types of activities that they can access through these links. Then I have created original video lectures with captions for every single of my class topics. And I upload them to YouTube and then they are embedded here on this website. And I also have added other videos here. So there are different types of learning materials that students can access. And I think that is important for different types of learners. The next component of my lesson is an interactive self-assessment. I have created these interactive activities using H5P. Here I'm just dragging. I am not even uh, looking. but. I embedded these interactive activities here on Laulima and the students can use this for self-assessment. So I do not grade this, but the students really enjoy playing these little games. So here I got all of them wrong. So students can retry or they can see the solution. So this helped them to check their progress and to check uh, their learning on the topic. The final component of my lesson is a list of activities that students need to complete each week. And in this list, I include the corresponding deadline so that students know when they need to complete each one of them. Each one of the activities is provided as a descriptive hyperlink. So it is easier for students to access them without having to go around La Lima looking for places to submit their work. They can just click here and they will be taken directly to the place that they need to uh, do their submission or they take them to other places if I'm using an external 
website, for example. So I use different tools, different ones in Laulima, like quizzes or forums or Google assignments, but I also use some external tools like Flipgrid or Google Forms or Quizlet or Kahoot. And sometimes I have experimented embedding some of those here directly on Laulima, but it made the site look more busy. So I decided that having these descriptive hyperlinks looks cleaner and is easier to navigate for the students. Finally, besides having a deadline for the activity indicated here, I also use the announcement tool to clearly communicate the instructions to students. Every Monday morning, students get an email that has a very short introduction to the topic, and then it has a list of activities that they need to complete that week that also has the corresponding deadline. And then I also include relevant information for that week. Other tools that I have used in the design of my site include adding web content to Laulima. So for example, I have added here the textbook so that students can have access to the textbook directly here uh, on Laulima. Or for example, the syllabus is a Google document that they can access directly from Laulima. So I think this helps the students to access everything from here. So it makes the class easier to navigate. And I also provide a tutorial of how to navigate Laulima on week one. So far, I have received very positive feedback from my students regarding the design of my site. I have not received any emails asking where to find things on Laulima or where to submit things. And I think this is a good sign. They are being able to find everything they need and they are being able to navigate the site without any issues. So I think they have everything they need to successfully complete this online class. Thank you so much for your time. And please let me know if you have any questions.